relatively older coin from 1970s and it is a bronze penny see it's it's brown when you have significant nearly 70 percent of redness gone then it is no more red brown it's most likely a brown in red brown you have to i think have nearly 40 percent of surfaces overall surfaces in red with red luster but when we here we have maybe 20% or 10% overall maybe less even maybe less here on near the western rims you see some redness here as well but more fade here on this part near the eastern rims and all as always in protected areas around the edges. My this monitor is a little bit trembling, therefore my too bad for my eyes. I should buy a new monitor. It's much older. So you see, but overall I think in about uncirculated condition maybe it could be also be in mean state brown mean state because there is no distractions at all mm -hmm. Every surfaces are almost contact free just oh, I spotted this tiny tiny tiniest mark here let's check let's see whether we can zoom in uh, under zooming we see some some distractions come out also on the facial area as well let's see oh and here we witness some die softness as well on the facial part in the ear you see more softness on the facial part and I spotted an yeah this scar this vertical scar here it's not that large not that distracting here as well I always forget to I pick a tooth check to get a tooth pick before before starting this live stream it would be much easier to direct it show show to you here we have one mark otherwise it's not that bad at all let's check the reverse side as well here also you see red red tiny bits of luster preserved in protected areas that hasn't been touched hasn't been you see less has had less contact This side, the bottom side is totally faded. Copper redness gone. As you see, as you know, copper fade from time to time when exposed to air. Upper part, upper part as well. Some softness we see on E of E pluribus. And I think some railroad yes slight railroad here on this color okay no but statue you see the monument of the lincoln is evident 
st uh, strike is not that bad is not that weak even steps tiny steps are evident Let's go to guiding price. So according to PCGS, the 1980s, 1970s P Lincoln sand is very common as US means struck over 3.7 billion examples for circulation. Finding an example up to about MS65 condition is very easy. So anything below MS65 level is not difficult to find. You can find them in minerals uh, and also in coin shops so nothing not a difficult date to locate in ms66 conditions they are much scarcer but still very common overall in ms67 it is much more difficult to find anything grading higher than ms67 is considered rare so for getting good amount from sale of it you have should it should be graded ms67 and higher according to pcgs the guiding price for ms67 is around 425 dollars but when we see the actual listing of sales the minimal price was 135 dollars the highest price was $425 for MS67s. The largest sale, the most expensive sale was at David David Lawrence auction in 2022. Let me show you that coin. And then we will go to condition rarities that is MS67 plus or MS68. Let's see. So this coin is MS67. You see, it's, it has very beautiful toning, actual toning. It's red toning, but it's very beautiful copper red. This is a superb gem, MS67 red, graded by PCGS and sold for $425. Now let's go to MS68 <laughs> No, MS67 plus, sorry So they don't have MS68 No, certified by PCGS The so highest grade, high-end gem is MS67 plus And PCGS certified just, reported just 7 of them And one was sold for $3,760 on 2017 so guys, if you your coin graded MS67 and higher, you can easily showcase them at prestigious auctions for good money. You see, it is one. It has even information. Let me double key it to read information about actual the present coin. So, but we have only slab photos. Let's make see if we can zoom in. Yes, it's possible. Very beautiful. Very nice. Number 67 plus red. And there is, as always, I mentioned, here we have a serial number. You can check for authenticity yourself at PCGS website if you doubt that this is not actual that coin. Okay, this is 1973. And let's read information a plus graded superb gem lincoln scent with razor sharp definition on all design elements and impeccably preserved original red surfaces 
that radiate vibrant mint luster. Overall eye appeal is incredible. Indeed, I also very much liked the eye appeal. You see it's potent, very potent luster it shows. Especially on these areas and strike is impeccable. Indeed. So it deserve, deservedly uh, get that amount of money. Exchange hand for 7000 the three thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars.